everybody, Joe Brady here, and I wanted to share something uh, really cool and new in Lightroom that is actually quite a big deal, and, and I really haven't noticed much of a fanfare about it, and that's something new in the develop module, and it's under profiles, and it's this thing, if you here see this image came in with the Adobe profile, which was always the standard, now there's something new here called adaptive color, and you also might see another one called camera natural come in, but Adaptive color is really, I think, a game changer for a lot of people as a starting point for your image edits. So, for example, all right, here's an image. This was just a raw file, a dark canyon. And if we simply add adaptive color to the profile, watch what happens to the image. That quickly. Now, is it perfect? No, but it's a great starting point. And for example, you could do, let's say, let's bring the highlights down a little bit and open up the shadows a little bit more. And let's say that's what you want all your images to come in as. You automatically want them to import and convert to this. Well, you can do that by creating a preset. So if I click on create preset and I'll call it, I'll call it new adaptive since I had already done one. Yeah, I can type new adaptive and you can just choose everything. It doesn't matter. We just, all we did was we added adaptive color and we brought the highlights down and shadows up a little bit and I'll click on create. And now if I go to any image, let's, let's pick this one for example, and I click on user presets, you see new adaptive right here and watch when I click on it it automatically fixes it. So I'm gonna make a virtual copy of this and reset it. So we went from there to there. Is it groundbreaking change? No, but it's putting things in a much better place. And you're gonna find on some images, it's gonna be quite dramatic, but it's gonna give you a great starting point for all your image edits. And here's a really cool thing. You can go ahead and make this your standard when you're importing your images. So this will be applied to all your images as they come in. So for example, if we go to library and click on import, and it doesn't matter our source right now, but if you come over here to the right and you say apply during import, you have develop settings here and you can go to user presets and here's the new adaptive we just added. And now every image that gets imported will automatically have the adaptive color in that slight uh, highlight and shadow change made so it'll put you in a much greater state to start your image edits. So let's cancel this and just take a look at a couple of more, a couple of more. <laughs> let's look at a couple more examples. So for example, here's something that's really dark. Uh, it had to expose this way to keep the uh, waterfall from blowing out. But let's see what happens when we go into develop and apply that adaptive color. And look at that. Now, is it perfect? No, it actually, in this case, it made the highlights a little too bright. But we can take this one step further, come over to our user presets that we just did with the new adaptive, and it will bring those highlights down. And now you can see in the histogram, uh, it's not clipping the whites anymore. Now, might you want to do other things? Of course. Maybe I want to uh, add some vibrance, some saturation, some clarity, and maybe bring those highlights down a little bit more just to make them a little safer. And again, that quickly, let's reset this one. Oh, that, yeah, it was, it was a pano that was stitched. We we'll go full screen on that. We went from here to here just by using that preset. How amazing is that? So this is something that's going to be really groundbreaking and really uh, speed up your image edit so fast because your images are going to come in as they're imported to look more like this. Let's take a look at two more examples before we call it a day. Okay, here's a one from uh, Antelope Slot Canyon. Is it the finished image? No, but let's apply our adaptive color, our new adaptive. And we see what it did was it protected uh, the, the uh, highlights. So, but what do I want? Well, I want to open up the shadows more. In fact, even the, uh, the overall exposure and we'll do this, we'll add some texture and clarity, and then we'll bring up the saturation, and look, there we are, we get to that point. And one last one, here's one of the Durango train coming over the bridge, let's apply our new adaptive to that, and wow, there's, there's the raw file, nothing's been done to it. We go to new adaptive, and look what it does to the image. 
that quickly. So really an amazing tool that's really going to speed up your image edits because it's going to put your raw files in a much better state to start your editing process. So I wanted to share that with you. Hope you enjoyed that. You definitely want to use it. I'm so impressed with this and it's really going to make your images as they come into Lightroom look so much better and it'll make it easier for you to pick which ones you want to then further edit. So that's it for today. I've put this to use. Thank you for joining me and I wish you a great week ahead. Bye-bye.